guys, back with <clears throat> guys, back with the uh, as I promised. Um, a bucks, a bucks review of their upcoming game against the Rams. Um, and I already talked about the Cardinals game in my last video. So, I don't know if you want to hear me out on on that one. Check out uh, Cardinals Aftermath. That's the name of it. But anyways, let's let's jump into this week. Um, so, so with the Rams game, um, well, the Rams have not scored a touchdown on offense in the first two weeks of the season. So... The only thing they have is they have a they have a damn good defense. Um, obviously, they they held Seattle to three points. They held, um, and they they held. Uh, well, I mean, San Francisco scored twenty eight on them, but well obviously we all know what that um what the strong point of their defense is which is is their defensive line their their defensive line that's that studs all over it i mean you start in the middle of aaron donald and you you got uh and then you got robert quinn but they also have some guys in the back end too you know they have um obviously they they got rid of James Lord I don't know who their new middle linebacker is, but they got TJ McDonald, um, he did the safety. Um, they got Mark Barron, you know, former Buck, um, at linebacker. Um, good physical linebacker that fits their system. Um, they don't have uh, George Jenkins no more, but they but they got um well, who I believe they kept the better corner, put the franchise tag on him. Um, what's his name? Oh, Tremaine Johnson. He's he's a good corner. Um, he'll be on Mike Evans. Uh, but their offense, I mean, just about all they got. I mean, they obviously their offense evolves around Todd Gurley. And Todd Gurley has been basically shut down the first two weeks. Cause they've only they've only kicked a few field goals this season. I'm hoping that the bus can keep that alive and keep them out of the end zone. At least no more than one. I say, I say for this defense. I would say just for, just for a confident boost. If we can either keep them out of the end zone, or they only get in the end zone once this whole game, I think this will provide a big confident. That will provide a big confidence boost for this defense. Especially if we can shut down Todd Gurley. If we could shut down Todd Gurley and force Case Keenum, now that they start Jared Goff, but they just beat Seattle, so we'll probably still stay with Case Keenum. But whatever quarterback, we could force them into mistakes. We should be able to come in with the takeaways this game. And if we don't turn the ball over, like what we did against Arizona, we should we should be able to beat this team no problem. They're in our house, home opener. So they gotta. There should be no reason why the the Bucks should not win this game. If they win this game, I mean, and they lose if they lose this game. I'm gonna be very disappointed. I'm gonna be like, really. 
I don't care if it's close or not. No, I'm I'm yearly expecting a win out of this team. After the showing of last week, they they got to they have to show us fans something. If they can't beat the Rams, then we have a problem. Cause we should we should be able to beat these Rams, no problem. The Rams are the Rams are not a great team at all. Especially if they're if they if they, because especially if they stick with Case Keenum, they we definitely should win. If they go to Jared Goff, <laughs> then we really should win. <laughs> then we definitely, like, 100% should win. Because we're a quarterback. But even if they have Case Keenum, the score shouldn't be much different. We should still win. I'll go for a 100% chance that we should win against Jared Goff. But the likely, still 95% chance that we should win against Case against their quarterback, Kate Keenum, who has been. <laughs> Plus, what should Oshawa add some boost? It's, well, obviously the home opener. But also, get revenge against him. With the the Thursday night game last year, but I'm but I'm mistaken. They they whooped our butt. And then when Nacho has more boosts, is they you know we we want to put that ugly loss behind us and come out with a really and come out with a really good showing. And that's what this team's all about. We we will definitely know about we will definitely know about her the direction of this team after this game. And will we come out with a really good showing? And let's say we beat the Rams by multiple scores. Alright, then you could tell alright, this team can bounce back. But if we end up like, but if we end up like, you know, edgy can edgy can win out, or, or, or losing a close game. Well, if we edge or win out, okay, okay, we gotta win, whatever. You know, we still got the win. That's all that matters. If we lose a close game, then hey, you know, we competed. Hey, better luck next week. But if we end up getting demolished again then you could tell oh man this then this team's gonna be in trouble so we'll know a lot about our team after after this this game against the Rams Sunday and I believe it's a 425 game late kickoff we don't have a one o'clock game until October 30th it's uh Denver no, not against them. Against, uh, well, yeah, it might be them. No, against Oakland. Yeah. So, um, uh, I, we, we may be going to, I may be going to a, a, a first of all, first reg regular season, uh, Bucks game sometime, sometime in the future. Not so sure. Of course, you know we want to go do. We want to go. We think we have a good shot at winning. <laughs> but so if it if uh we end up going, I can make a video there and uh you know why not? Um, well, I just added some new content to to the channel. I added um, some Madden moments from from the Xbox One, so if you want to check that out, 
play the Madden because they record like every good play you have on the game and I guess you can upload them straight to YouTube so so I did a bunch I did a bunch of those I'm looking to finish it off right now um, and do the rest of them so so uh, you, you could check those out want to check out some good well, they may not be good man to plays, but <laughs> still some pretty decent man to plays. Man of seventeen plays. Yeah, it's new man. So if you want to check that, so go ahead and check that out. Um, um, my week three prediction should be up, so you can check that out. My oh, I think uh, we'll win week three, and how how gonna shape up and why um, so but yeah hey, we it wasn't all bad all right the last game I mean I I mean I talked about the, the last game and and you know Sunday after the game so if you want to hear my opinions on that, then check that out. But other than that, I mean, this game, like, LA Rams. <laughs> of course, no, I ain't gonna be shit talking. There ain't no shit talking about my team after uh, what we did, but let's get them. Let's get them. All we gotta do is we gotta we gotta win our we gotta win our matchups. All we gotta do we gotta keep Katane of Todd Gurley and Tavon Austin. Those are the threats on offense, and we gotta be and our offense. They gotta get on point. Get our get Jameis and Visa Jackson going. Um, and just be. Mostly mistake free on, on uh, offense, and you know, make some key plays, and we, we should we should be able to we should we should be able to beat this team, no problem. Uh, and then uh, you know, let me know in the comments, suggestions, um, what you like, what you don't like. Um, suggestions of what I could add, what I could do, um, you know, anything you would want me to, to add to the channel, you know, and I'll do my best to do it, or, or consider it, so I appreciate your support, and, um, you know, it's a it's a buck slide here, man. So, um, you know, so Coppin and team, I think they, you know, they can come back strong, and still early in the season. So, week three coming up. So let's get this. Let's get this. We got it. Let them be two and one. Um, when you last in our division, so that's a plus. <laughs> all right. So I will catch y'all later. Um, doing another video th later this week, um, and during the game, um, you know, game updates of what happens. Um, Um, I have now listened to the Buck, to the Buck press conference, oh wait, no, there's no Buck press conference, oh, I haven't really heard any Buck news today on the extent of the, the injuries, um, so any, uh,
especially any Bucks fans. Um, you know, YouTube, uh, procrastinators, um, anybody that does the NFL picks, um, you know, any Bucks fans, you know, you got Texas Buck, Buck Nation, um, the King of the Bucks, uh, um, Bucks Die Hard, um, and any others that I may be missing, you know, if you happen to, you know, reach me, or, you know, hit me up, <laughs> hit me up, I, I watch your videos all, all the time, and you guys are great support the team, and I, and I support them, you know, just as much as you do. The Bucks. Let's get these Rams. Peace. See ya. Most likely Sunday. Maybe before.